away so that uh, you can sleep comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> so sleep is assured. <coughs> we talk a lot about law, but it is nothing. It is common sense and at any given day, differentiation between right or wrong. What you, as a value system, what you feel is right for you will be legally also supported. On that premise, I begin <coughs> my presentation. When you are thinking of entering into a business, you have to think, plan and act. And I start, well, before I start formulating the ideas, before I start saying something about it, let me give you a little story. There is a girl named Ria who is taking up a business. She decides to enter into an apparel business. She approaches Apurva. Apurva is a chartered accountant. She goes to her for advice. She takes Ashima, Shweta and Priya together. Ashima is designer. Shweta is in fashion and lifestyle and Priya is in designing and customization. Can they raise hands? Yeah, these are they. So they, of course there will be other names also. So they think of formulating a company. Priya says, they approach Apurva who is a chartered accountant. Priya says, I have a noble idea. Whenever <coughs> somebody has to go to a party, it happens that wardrobe is open, one dress put on the floor, second, third, fourth, nothing being light and there is a heap of clothes lying on the floor but nothing which I am liking for the day. So I have done something chemically as well as on the design patterns that cloth can automatically change color, hue or if I want it to be shorter or larger, I mean this is kind of innovative product which I have designed. And before, Shweta who keeps track of uh, designs, or oh sorry fashion and fashion trends, she helped me, uh, Ashima is taking care of the design part and Priya is customizing for colors and all. I mean this is kind of a, before our co-founders, what we must do, Apurva immediately said, if you are thinking of doing that, firstly, enter into a written agreement with all the co-founders. Formalize it. Have a clear clarity. Who will control day-to-day -day activity? What happens if we don't agree on something? And so on. What will be the capital requirement? Who will contribute what? What will be the shareholding pattern? So one legal thing, agreement, governed by Contract Act. Make a business plan, formulate everything, and yes, in all the, these uh, three, three days session, sessions, you are learning how to make a business plan. Then comes Apurva's, they ask, what we should do? What we, entity we must have? Sole proprietorship? Naturally not, because we are poor. Partnership, sole partnership basically is very very simple thing. You can easily within a day just print the letter hand, obtain some registration, uh, something like trademark or something, and then you can go ahead. But uh, many times it is not suitable. So partnership should be go about. Then this is one entity creation. Then what kind of taxes will be applicable to us, and what 
laws and regulations and contracts will be applicable which help us as well as protect us and we have to be careful about also while dealing with others. So, whenever you are choosing a legal entity, you have to minimize liability. You have to keep your personal assets separately. Sometimes, whosoever has already done business and she has done in proprietorship or partnership, they are aware, she is aware that she is personally also responsible for losses or risk involved. But when it comes to LLP as limited liability partnership or So there are two unlimited limited liability, sole partnership and partnership. And then limited liability for private limited company. One person company is the latest thing that one co company, uh, one person company can also be formed with the limited uh, liability and public limited or private limited. Uh, these are possibilities. So chartered accountant is explaining them, giving them idea about the Actually, uh, just to give you an idea about my presentation, I am not going to delve into each law at length because within half an hour to do justice with the topic, it will be better if I give you an overall view that which kind of law apply when and then whenever the need be, you are at least aware that you have to touch upon this law which for which professional help or some Google uh, checking can help you. So, now, they further ask what we should do when we are having employees, <coughs> we are uh, going to deal with outside world, we are going to share our technology, there will be many people. They have decided to appoint Bhavna as HR consultant and Swarning for Government Manufacturing then for IT initiative, they are taking help of Rima who will develop IT app, Ruchika for e-commerce joint venture and Shalini for digital marketing. So uh, whether uh, Rima and Ruchika are here, Rima and Ruchika, no. And then Shalini, yeah. thereafter uh, Bhavna, and then uh, Swarnin for garment manufacturing. So, See, now there are different, these are their specialized areas which they are dealing in. And now this team of four, whose company is ASV, shall we call? Fine. So ASV is thinking of firstly taking on HR consultant. So when she takes HR consultant, employees are going to be hired. So for employees hiring, there are a lot of labor laws which will be in later slides, which kick into. Then uh, Priya, sorry, Rima, she is developing IT app. <coughs> so Apurva tells that if you are develop, getting uh, IT app developed, please enter into a software development agreement which clearly specifies what will the role and deliverables, what will be scope of work, what will be consideration, what if app doesn't work. So again a contract act. And then uh, information Technology Act also because there are certain information which are going to be shared. Of course, Shalini will be covering far better because I am from a profession of Chartered Accountancy and she is an advocate. So uh, I invite as well as I include Shalini uh, also in this panel yeah, of my decision. Nee, I mean, uh, let me continue because uh, we will not be in position to uh, take something from my side and something from your side. But yes, okay. I'm yes. ready for the invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Rajneeshji, what do you mean by the uh, intellectual property here? Intellectual property, I am coming to that. Yes. Because I have to take uh, uh, one by one. So, whatever com is coming in, I am trying to take one by one. So, Rima IT app, so software development agreement. Then, Ruchika is for e commerce. Now, uh, we cannot sell this apparel on the local basis. We have to take it worldwide. And it's Ritika. It's Ritika. Oh, I am sorry, I stand corrected. So, now, for e-commerce, they have entered into different arrangement that whatever sale is made, she will receive 10% of that. 
So they are entering into a joint venture. Joint venture agreement comes into picture. In joint venture agreement, you have to uh, multiple things have to be taken care of. Definitely, contract act will be there. Sale of goods act may trigger in if it is through her, and if it is directly from the company, then at least that would not be applicable. Then contractual arrangement, contractual TDS can come in thereafter. Uh, whenever payments are made, actually, I am again uh, uh, giving a brief view of taxes also. So. Whenever payments are made for expenditure, for rendering of services or uh, uh, kind of contractual payments at that time, withholding tax, which is known as tax reduction at source in India on income, this is a part of income tax, those TDS is also to be deducted. So when joint venture, three, four uh, type of laws have immediately attracted. Then, Shalne is taking care of digital marketing. Now for digital marketing, she is going to deal with lot of uh, data. She is going to receive lot of in, uh, customers' uh, private information. So, there, uh, confidentiality agreement, consultancy agreement for uh, uh, digital marketing, uh, even a uh, non-compete agreement if you see so that uh, she will never compete with the customers and that non-compete <laughs> agreement can be between the promoters also who have formed it for the employees also. Then when employees are involved, employee invention assignment agreement. Suppose Ria has an idea which she has started on but thereafter employees help in developing the product further, improving it, uh, putting it a, a better way or some different process she, uh, the employee works out, their employee invention is to be assigned to the company which has hired so their, that kind of agreement to fix it. Sir, can you only and then elaborate intellectual what is the, what would it do, I mean how would it help employee intervention and non uh, employee invention agreements, how would they help? Employee invention ka help ye hoga ki employee khud us particular uh, invention ko use nahi kar sakega. To wo basically company ki property isli hai. It can be idea as well or it can be product as well. It can be? It can be the idea or product. Invention as in we generally talk about the product. That's but right. is it for the services and ideas also? Yes, ideas uh, are covered in different uh, thing uh, which I uh, will request Shaliji to cover better because I don't have that kind of exposure. But yes, there are three, four types of which uh, is going to come. Uh, and then, yes, taxes will be there. Direct tax, income tax and indirect tax, of course, right now there are so many taxes, service tax, excise, uh, where... Intellectual property. Intellectual property. property. Intellectual property. Intellectual property. Intellectual property. That I am coming to. <laughs> But you change the slide, that's why you Okay, I will come first to that. <laughs> that was the next step. If it is so important, because actually, when you are in the company of intellectuals, this is the thing which is, uh, we should have been the first line. So I am also learning. Put your collars up. All ladies. Yes, absolutely, I do believe. I am married person. <laughs> so, Intangibles, imaginations are creative. <coughs> these are can be uh, these are an asset, and copyrights or patents or trademarks or trade secrets. These all are in different kind of uh, ways. All are uh, possible to be. Now I am coming back to uh, taxes. Please allow me to do that <laughs> because this is a bad subject for me. I do keep practice on tax so. But of course, I will not again uh, take a lot of time. Income tax has very, very basic simple things. You are going to have the tax rate of 30% in LLP or a private company. Uh, do not go into a lot of details when you are uh, talking of taxes. Just understand the basics. And uh, because what happens when it comes to taxes or law, we all entrepreneurs generally develop immediately a cold feet that this is something which we just don't understand. So it is simple. If you have profits, you are going to pay some taxes. 
uh, when it comes to what is allowable expense, what is not allowable expense, what is minimum alternative uh, alternative tax. These all things can come later. Uh, let's understand the basics. And for taxes, here I am taking a detour and talking about <laughs> as a startup. As a startup, sorry. Never think of cooking the books <coughs> or being non-transparent or doing some little planning of here and there, okay, let's save some taxes. Because if you are not transparent, co-investors are never going to be with you. If you are not having the clear, open, uh, uh, I mean, uh, kind of books, they are never going to invest into you. <coughs> so tax compliance is one of the big things which is there. GST again will be very simple, all goods and service, there will be uh, standard tax rates, four tax rates will be there, then uh, within state if you are dealing, there will be uh, different uh, 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 GST and uh, when you are inter, uh, uh, interstate, then IGST will be there, CGST will be there, these other things. So, but statutory compliances are on, always ongoing, it's not single time. Every time, whenever you are uh, making some transaction, you would have to see whether withholding taxes are applicable or not. Every year when you are finalizing uh, your books, you have to see income taxes there or not. Whenever you are transacting for purchase, sales or services, you have to see GST or not and comply with that. Then, these people talk to Apurva and they tell that Swarnim is taking care of our garment manufacturing. Now, when it comes to manufacturing, immediately few more things take in. Firstly, whether you are doing for, uh, on the outsourcing basis, that means whatever she manufactures will be sold to you or she is simply a supporting manufacturer to you, that means that you would be supplying them uh, her the raw materials and she will be manufacturing on contractual basis. So different taxes, different laws starts getting applicable. Let me take it. And then, apart from that, there are certain laws related to <coughs> the products itself, services itself, which as a general common person, we also know because we all are consumers. And as a consumer, we know our rights that goods must be uh, should I say merchandisable goods should be uh, standard based and whatever is promised has to be delivered these must be fairly priced of course price is not a uh, point which is uh, enforceable but yes again request to Shalini to take up that case then monopoly if you are uh, if she is thinking of taking it to uh, globally and if her trade practices are such that no other uh, player can enter into this. So it can be even monopoly restrictive trade practices also can uh, govern it. Then if you are, there was actually earlier one what a kind of civil laws. In civil laws there is generally just a, uh, that if you are not complying with the penalties may applicable. When it, but when it comes to criminal liabilities then it is uh, very heavy penalties as well as prosecution is also possible. So, if she is thinking of manufacturing the product, but somehow it is either unhygienic or uh, 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 affects the health of the uh, consumer, so then uh, other type of acts like uh, Indian Panel Act or uh, Indian Stand uh, Bureau of Industrial Industry Standards, <coughs> these all can also trigger in. If you are dealing with the food, there are certain kind of laws. If you are dealing with drugs and cosmetics, there are again certain laws. They further tell, uh, ASV company further tells that we are taking help of few more people. Vidhi will be taking care of handcrafted products and packaging. And we are also taking help of Avneet, Dolly and Vishaka because we have to promote ourselves. Avneet will be taking care of all event management because apart from digital marketing, we have to <coughs> hold the fashion shows, we have to do road shows, we have to launch it all over the world. So our event management will be taken care of by her. So 
Now, again, Apurva and Shaliji explain that C, what kind of when you are talking of international C, whether you are complying with provisions of Foreign Exchange Management Act or not. Please see whether you are contractually, uh, whatever you are doing, whether you are deducting withholding taxes or not, and so on. Uh, Dolly will be taking care of hospitality. So, uh, whenever some particular people travel, their uh, hospitality arrangements will have to be taken care of. So, then luxury tax may be there. So, this is how the in kind of your chosen field, when you interact or deal with each other, different laws starts keeping on applicable. And underlying, almost in all cases, contract act is basic underlying thing. Whatever you are doing with somebody else is contract. And for contract, this particular act specifies those kind of conditions which makes the dealing equitable, fair and reasonable for both of uh, parties or multiple parties with a consideration. AFC further says, we have to take care of distribution model. Apart from e-commerce side, we have we also need the whole India distribution network. And for that, we are taking help of Priyanka, who is in retail franchise. In retail franchise, we have to uh, <laughs> set up the stores, distributors, and franchisee arrangements. Multiple laws are taking in for franchisee. Again, the franchisee agreements, uh, contract act, uh, taxes, GST, uh, taxes in terms of uh, withholding tax as well as uh, the uh, GST and so. <coughs> when they are holding fashion shows, they will need it to accessorize with the jewelry. Because garments as such do not appeal unless a jewelry and uh, as, uh, other accessories are there. So they are taking help of Vishaka, who would be supplying jewelry, but jewelry they cannot purchase again and again. They are going to take on rent from her. They are going to use it on the multiple use or single use basis and then return. Shalniji immediately says, okay, take care of insurances. Take care of, again, uh, you are making contractual payment of rent, or uh, I mean, uh, this uh, uh, rental kind of thing or contractual take care of withholding taxes. So, this is the business world government which takes care of them. Uh, coming back to, because we have heard this, when we talk of the labor laws, because employee is one of the <coughs> biggest uh, force to move the company, there are almost 144 labor laws in India. So it is definitely difficult to comply with all. So general awareness one and secondly, very few of them are really applicable in day to day. Number may be large, but it's not like that. All are applicable to you. So main are, if Swarnamit is maintaining a manufacturing factory, a manufacturing facility, Factories Act will be applicable and take care of health and all. Then Industrial Disputes Act, if more than 100 people, if there is some disputes or the, the, there are some strikes or something, <coughs> you cannot employ child labor, so ASC will have to ensure that earning <coughs> does not employ any child labor. Then, if you have number of persons more than 20, and uh, in case of more than 20, employees provident fund, which is kind of a saving scheme where we may say, and if it is more than 10, uh, ESI, uh, employee uh, state insurance, Th those two triggering state insurance are uh, for uh, medical and accidental kind of support and so this is contracts which we were talking about that almost all agreements are of the contracts. So there are sale of goods act, Indian contract act and uh, then if you have differences there is provision for arbitration, how you deal with each other in promoters how you deal with one particular party. This is generally, arbitration is generally to be specified in the contract that this will be the uh, way of uh, resolving the dispute. So, you naturally do not want to go to court every time. 
the court has almost years of the backlog and if you feel that while doing the business you uh, whatever problem you have you will set uh, sort out to the court uh, i think uh, there is uh, going to be a uh, lot of uh, delayed justice uh, and it is famously, famously said uh, delayed justice is delayed uh, justice. denied justice yes you will be dealing a lot and lot of payments are to be recovered and released so if your data debtors are not paying in time you have the benefit of recently introduced insolvency and bankruptcy code which mandates the payment to be made within 10 days and if the after giving the notice when it has become overdue and if it is not made uh, payment is not made then the insolvency proceedings for the other companies who is the pay uh, starts sorry who is the payer and if you are on other side also if you are not paying other companies can initiate legal action against you when you are taking care of the contracts trade secrets are not automatically protected you must have a contract so there are recommendations please have the formalized contract in writing all the parties must be clearly named details of transaction consideration must be specifically mentioned and signatures and jurisdiction all these things be, must be clearly maintained mentioned in the contracts we have about 10 minutes this is this. yeah i'm going to conclude within time the other lastly issues which we, when we are dealing with the laws corruption and anti bribery has been the way of life in india but the way the things are going on let's uh, try to be avoid as much as possible uh, then when you are uh, into business there will be certain state regulations license requirements when you are dealing with the infrastructure logistics and supply chains different things suppose you are sending the goods by transporter transporter you are sending the goods by courier there all you would have uh, benefit of uh, various laws to protect and uh, that sums up my uh, decision only one particular one more slide to tell that with your business there are certain incentives also some central incentives central government incentive some state government incentive and some sector specific incentive when you are in business please do not depend your business on the incentives depend on incentive as a bonus those must not be at the starting factor that okay i am getting 20% uh, subsidy on my food processing unit why shouldn't i start it it doesn't make your business successful uh, they are to uh, aid you to subsidize your cost and all so dear i thank you for your time and patience and uh, we have to yeah thank you so i have to ensure that earning does not employ any child labor then if you have number of persons more than 20 and uh, in case of more than 20 employees provident fund which is kind of a saving scheme where we may say and if it is more than 10 uh, esi uh, employee ins uh, state insurance those those should trigger in state insurance are uh, for uh, medical and accidental kind of support and so this is contracts which we were talking about that almost all agreements are of the contracts so there are sale of goods act indian contract act and uh, then if you have differences there is provision for arbitration how you deal with each other in promoters how you deal with one particular party this is generally arbitration is generally to be specified in the contract that this will be the uh, way of uh, resolving the dispute so you naturally do not want to go to court every time the court has almost years of the backlog and if you feel that while doing the business you uh, whatever problem you have you will set uh, sort out to the court uh, i think uh, there is uh, going to be a uh, lot of uh, delayed justice uh, and it is famously famously said uh, delayed justice is delayed uh, denied justice yes you will be dealing a lot 
and lot of payments are to be recovered and released. So if your data debtors are not paying in time, you have the benefit of recently introduced insolvency and bankruptcy code, which mandates the payment to be made within 10 days and if the after giving the notice when it has become overdue and if it is not made, uh, payment is not made, then the insolvency proceedings for the other companies who is the payee uh, starts, sorry, who is the payer and if you are on other side also, if you are not paying, other companies can initiate legal action against you. When you are taking care of the contracts, trade secrets are not automatically protected. You must have a contract. So there are recommendations. Please have the formalized contract in writing. All the parties must be clearly named. Details of transaction consideration must be specifically mentioned. And signatures and jurisdiction, all these things be, must be clearly maintained, mentioned in the contracts. This is, yeah, I'm going to conclude within time. These are the lastly issues which we, when we are dealing with the laws, corruption and anti-bribery has been the way of life in India. But the way the things are going on, let's uh, try to be avoid as much as possible. Uh, then when you are uh, into business, there will be certain state regulations, <laughs> license requirements, when you are dealing with the infrastructure, logistics and supply chains, different things, suppose you are sending the goods by transporter, you are sending the goods by courier, there all you would have uh, benefit of uh, various laws to protect. And uh, that sums up my uh, decision, only one particular, one more slide to tell that with your business there are certain incentives also some central incentives, central government incentive, some state government incentive and some sector specific incentive. When you are in business, please do not depend your business on the incentives. Depend on incentive as a bonus. Those must not be at the starting factor that, okay, I am getting 20% uh, subsidy on my food processing unit, why shouldn't I start it? It doesn't make your business successful. Uh, they are to aid you, to subsidize your cost and all. So there, I thank you for your time and patience. And uh, we have to, yeah, thank you. So, should be income or should be the profit? If I am offering it to somebody. Depends. Which is better for you because 10% of income, income is going good. to be much larger than 10% uh, of profit. Yeah. profit. It depends upon case to case basis. I cannot give a very general reply. Okay. Suppose when I was talking about the joint venture. Now, in e commerce joint venture, when she is becoming an instrumental, uh, giving me help, and uh, she is instrumental to sell my products, so naturally she will expect a cut on my products instead of saying, okay, uh, on this particular sale you would be earning X amount of profit if you share that profit for me. But suppose uh, I take her as a uh, consultant to uh, increase my business, uh, she as a marketing consultant. Now she says, whatever I sell, I may, you make, incremental sale you make, I will take 10%. I will say, it doesn't sound nice, you are a consultant for growth as well as increasing my profitability. So there I shall give you the cut. I mean, this is uh, okay, general. Okay, one more thing. Yeah. The, uh, <coughs> suppose if I am giving my property on rent to the same uh, partner, the payment should be by check or by cash? Always by check. Modi is very clear. Always by check. And also the 10% uh, uh, the, 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 I mean the 10% income that I am giving or she is giving it to me or profit or whatever. That should also be a, by check? Actually what happens earlier, check there was the practice, I shall clarify. Mm -hmm. There was practice that we can settle in the cash. But uh, the things are becoming very very difficult. It is very much on. If you are aware, there is a latest provision in Income Tax Act that uh, which will be applicable from next year. That if any payment more than ten thousand rupees is made in cash towards expenditure, it will be disallowable. One 
and second thing if there is any payment more than rupees 3 lakhs it will be uh, equal penalty will be levied be it for the loan be it the partner introducing capital which are not even income or transactions so they are trying to make it cashless economy or very less cash because when you mean cash you are talking of the black transaction when you of course you can make payment official payments also in cash there is nothing wrong with that but you don't know whether the next person is showing it or not okay you may be showing the cash payment so these are the things but of course if you have detailed question on that i shall uh, definitely uh, aside uh, i shall discuss it and uh, explain you much better way all these percentages uh, all the percentages like 10% this thing and that are there any guidelines for it? like if i'm dealing with someone and i have to like maybe a franchise or something so all these percentages is there any guideline which we should refer or it can never be it can never be for the very simple reason ki what kind of value addition next person is giving that becomes the base of your cut suppose i am at amazon and i sell millions of the products all over world and i tell look your product couldn't be sold if i didn't help you and i will take say 25% across the board nobody is going to agree if it is jewelry we may agree for even 2% or 3% if it is uh, something mass market like commodity of uh, suppose i am selling wheat on amazon wheat now wheat has very less margin so i cannot say i am going to charge 20% but if it is apparels which generally have a good percentage of uh, uh, margin in bed their 20% can be a reasonable demand so there is no, nothing such uh, no such concept like a very fixed kind of percentage for franchise arrangement for commissions for other kind of thing this is all very flexible negotiable so uh, i think uh,